Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we offer a warm welcome to the man I consider a father to not just me, but the entire Virgin Islands, Honorable Julian Fraser, RA, Chairman of the Progressive United. You know the deal, hey. If you ready, if you ready for change, if you ready, then the phrase I come in. Try come without, try on with my, but guess what? Right eh? Say you can't leave, the sun of your sleep. This can't be real. Election time, we live again. We live again. 2019, we let me say. <laughs> Friends, well wishers, the media, candidates, good afternoon. The road leading to this place was unimaginably lonely. Not because it was abandoned, but because there were no conversations. It was also difficult because of the constant pressures for answers. Then there was the frustration because people just made up their own stories. Nonetheless, I am convinced that everyone meant well. And by the help of God, this day is here. Not everyone is here with us today, but they are coming. Great minds had no difficulties in predicting the day was coming when Julian Fraser R.A. was going to stand here before you with this mammoth undertaking. Because they knew I never stopped believing in myself and how much you look forward to having someone you can trust. The late Robert F. Kennedy rightfully said, the world is a dangerous place to live. Not because of those who do wrong, but because of those who sit back and do nothing we are at that place in the BVI. And thus, progressives united. Yeah. Progressives united makes no secret of our independence from those contributors who give huge sums of money because of the political corruption it breeds in making the payback. We therefore advocate a $10,000 cap and campaign contributions and call upon every political party to take this stand. On August 23rd, 2018, Progressives United did a soft launch before a large gathering of supporters in a private setting. The purpose being to let them know that we were preparing for the 2019 general elections. Prior to that, our logo was mounted on a billboard with our signature, trust, at the roundabout. Well, we are here taking that next step and formally launching the group and introducing some candidates who will be contesting the general elections. In our booklet, we have spelled out our vision for the territory. And with your indulgence, I will proceed to enlighten you and our methodology for realizing the vision. The economy. In 2007, 
2011 administration, a serious attempt was made to address the ocean ferry transport sector, where a modern terminal with accommodation for the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol preclearance was planned and designed for West End. Unfortunately, the wisdom to execute the construction was clouded by the pursuit of unrelated matters. Experience has shown that in government, a wasted opportunity usually results in a lost opportunity. Fortunately, the opportunity to build that terminal still exists, and Progressives United will not hesitate to build it. The mistake of not doing the ferry terminal in 2007-2011 administration has left the territory with a double dilemma because we are now faced with the need to expand the airport runway. This unfortunate occurrence, which has created serious issues of accessibility for our visitors, has made it convenient for them to choose our friends and neighbors as viable alternatives to our destination. These are tough decisions which have to be taken, and they are high priorities in a Progressive United Administration. Financial services. Every organization of importance is after all industry's practice. So it begs the question, why? Why is the OECD, ICIJ, CIA, EU, UK, and United States State Department, and even France, which went as far as the blacklist in us, and now the Netherlands, having issues with the way our business in financial services is conducted. Conventional wisdom would say, because all is not well. For starters, dealing directly with the, U with the EU post-Brexit is a non-starter and needs to stop. The BVI is out of his league negotiating with a, U with a UK less EU. All modus operandi of reacting to directives must stop in favor of being in a position to shape the narrative. This means the establishment of an influence peddling mechanism within the European theater. Progressives United recognizes the need to either fund that project or face the reality of losing the industry. Clear examples of us playing behind the eight ball are evident in the two main issues before us as I speak. One being the UK's demand that by December 31st, 2019, we establish a beneficial ownership register and make it public. And the other being the EU's requirements that companies registered in the BVI must have economic substance here in the BVI. Our Progressive United strategy would not have had us in the bind we are in today. Local companies. We can no longer afford to take the, part, the position that all local companies can survive within the framework of a single structure designed for global accommodation. A decade and a half ago, when this all started, it worked. But that was in advance of the excessively high levels of scrutiny being placed on the industry by these organizations, requiring onerous legislation and compliance demands that local companies just can't afford. Besides, it is unfair to subject local companies to these requirements because they are not involved in the activities of interest. Progressives United will produce legislation for the registration of a new class of companies geared towards the accommodation of local businesses, affording them all the traditional benefits of a limited liability company, which existed back in the days before the repeal of the International Business Companies Act. A government which understands that local businesses can only thrive if money circulates within our shores is a government which realizes that it has a role in ensuring that making this happen is crucial. 
Of the $580 million to be spent on the recovery and development plan, Progressives United will ensure that the economy and the people will be the substantial beneficiaries. Healthcare. The goal is to place the territory in a position where having to travel overseas for medical purposes is only for those things that are prohibitive to do here, either because of impracticality due to economies of scale or for raw cost. Progressives United acknowledges that we currently have neither the skills nor the technology to care for all our citizens' need medical needs, and therefore admits that it is our responsibility to get patients to an appropriate facility for care in a reasonable time. While the advent of NHI suggests that this is the case, it is, however, not practiced. Training and recruiting our people for our health care services will be a key aspect of our long-term strategy for self-sustainability. Our nurses and doctors living abroad will be pursued and offered exceptional remuneration packages. All people will be recruited for cares within the sector, careers within the sector. People's Hospital. A revision to the operation of the hospital will be made to bring it in line with the major hospitals which our patients are generally referred to overseas. The building has two floors that are unoccupied by the hospital. And therefore, that's a problem to which the need for an immediate solution is obvious. Talks that a medical school can be an option. But does the hospital have enough beds as it, oh, as it is? A national health insurance, NHI. This is a delivery vehicle that any government would hope is capable of carrying the load at an affordable cost, preferably break even. Such is not the case, however, as it is nickel and diming its clients. While failing to provide them with timely overseas transfer, especially the places of their choices. Rather, they resort to what is cheapest, usually to places like Colombia and Jamaica. Since this system was created by government, including its method of financing, which was dictated also, it is up to government to fix it. We believe that NHI is necessary and it must stay. We do, however, understand that it must work for the betterment of the people it serves. To that end, Progressives United considers it absolutely necessary that it severs ties with Social Security, SS, and become a statutory body. Not only because Social Security is a client of NHI, but NHI needs its independence. The symbiotic relationship between the BVI Health Services Authority and NHI has to end as well because they too are clients of NHI. And so too, NHI shall not be umbrellaed under the ministry, under a ministry other than the one responsible for Social Security and BVI Health Services Authority. Chronic diseases. Progressives United will ensure that government provides upwards of $1 million each year for the research, development, and implementation of a program to mitigate chronic diseases, such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney failure. Far too many people are dying from these diseases for reasons that are preventable. Education. It is clear that our education system has failed to prepare our people for the 21st century. Case in point, people are still suffering from anxiety when talk of a relationship with the UK is mentioned. Had they been clear on what our relationship is, 
they would certainly know where it's going. Progressives United will make this a part of our curriculum, thus eliminating the influence, the noise, and the street has over the uninformed with such an important matter. It is conceivable that the history of our orange origin has been lost and forgotten. And for that reason, the appetite for discovery no longer exists. Mindful of our geography and the commonalities we share with the African diaspora, American black history must be in our curriculum. Facilities. The events of Hurricane Irma has given us the perfect opportunity for a pause. We do not believe that the junior high school and the senior high school belongs on the same campus. And therefore, the search for a site is immediate. The rush this current administration is in to start the bidding process on new buildings at this late stage is mean-spirited. Any new construction should wait until after elections. Progressives United will commission a study as to whether the territory is best served with every neighborhood having a primary school. It can be argued that less schools result in more resources to go around, meaning better schools. As things stand, children are attending schools far away from home, despite having one in their neighborhood. The amenities. One would be hard pressed to find a place on earth in these modern times with a per capita income of $30,000 and does not provide its school children with a lunch. Since before the 60s, children in the United States, Virgin Islands had been benefiting from their program. Progressives United will build a cafeteria and establish a lunch program at each of our public high schools as a matter of priority. The curriculum. Our education system must have its own brand. We like to say that we are educated in the Virgin Islands. But what does that really mean if we were actually educated with someone else's material and at their standards? It is important that we establish our own standards and have anyone coming here meet or exceed our standards. There is a special pride in all this, and Progressives United wants to bring it out in our people. The accreditation process that was being undertaken several years ago must continue, this time to its conclusion and human resources. Our school system will no longer be treated like an afterthought, and neither would the Minister of Finance allow the Education Minister to abuse the finances in the ministry. In other words, discretion will be given an agreed definition. Recruitment will be a continuum, and it must be done in the interest of the children of the territory. The education system will be run by a board elected by the people in a general election. Progressives United recognizes that what worked in the 60s can't work today by just making it bigger. Sears Roebuck and Radio Shack are obvious anachronisms. Only a matter of time before the reality hits home. We do recognize our reality and are ready to act by seeking the necessary constitutional amendments and putting legislation in place to support this outcome. Jobs. The Minister for Labor reported that for the period November 2017 to August 2018, the Labor Department processed 3,785 work permit waivers. We cannot dismiss the impact the hurricanes have had on our workforce in terms of demand. 
but in a workforce of 15,000 plus, to have an addition of 20% of its size added to a single segment, meaning construction, is a coup d'etat. The claim is that they are, skill, they are skilled workers. Our belief is that this is an opportunity to clean house. How cynical. Businesses must have a favorable environment in order to be successful. And no business can be successful without the benefit of a good workforce. This marks for a win-win situation. We, we recognize that government must play a role, whether through the enforcement of the laws, eliminating taxes on goods, or creating policies, they have a role. Progressives United will, in its first 100 days, redirect the focus of the Labor Department from being a facilitator of work permits to one that reduces unemployment with a view towards eliminating it. Meaningful training and placement will take place by the Labor Department. The department will become all labor czar. Every working age, ably bodied belonger is entitled to a job. Let me say that again. Every working age, ably bodied belonger is entitled to a job. At least that's the way we at Progressives United see it. And we are prepared to hold up our commitment by ensuring that you will never be disenfranchise in your own land. Progressives United will set up an unemployment compensation regime that is capable of softening the impact often felt when transitioning from one job to another due to layoffs. Discrimination within the workplace will be met with harsh penalties. Employers will be given assistance where necessary in order to facilitate hiring. Agriculture. Probably the best kept secret in the BVI was the debt of agriculture. Someone, certainly the NDP did not get the memo on the importance of a functional agricultural sector in the territory. Food security is a must, and it can only happen here with government taking the lead. Progressives United understand agriculture as a national security, and as such, we will see our obligation to maintain it in similar fashion, as, in, as is done when having an army without war, or a fire department without fire. Within the first 100 days of Progressives United leadership, government will have its livestock and provision stock in place and well on their way to facilitating the farming community need for rebuilding its private stock. We haven't lost sight on the fact that modernity comes at a price, which is most times hidden. And one of the first casualties is agriculture, because they usually require prime real estate, actually agricultural land. But we have to adapt, not give up. With that in mind, Progressives United will declare greenhouse technology a national interest for the territory, food security. This we will develop into a win-win for the territory and the people of Anagata. We believe that if greenhouse agriculture is established in Anagata, it provides a type of low-density, high-volume commerce the island will thrive on. And the spin-offs are huge. But most importantly, more frequent and lower-cost transportation. Imagine 
the same barge that brings fruit and vegetable down to Tortola will be taken back up scarce and much needed building material to Anigara. This initiative is complex and will require legislation, but rest assured its place on our agenda ensures its reality. Our strategic plan for the island of Anigara and its people includes tax legislation and other incentives for the people of Anigara, intended to level the playing field between residents of Tortola and residents of Anigara. The Greenhouse Initiative is a huge part of that strategy. Fishing. Our exclusive economic zone extends 200 miles out to sea. And when considering our unique location on the Atlantic Ocean, it spells nothing but dollars and cents when it comes to the Atlantic tuna. As a contracting party to the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tuna, ICAT, the Virgin Islands is allotted a quarter of the fish stock under ICAT's management. Progressives United will leverage that quarter that has been untapped since our membership 18 years ago. The bluefin tuna, which can reach up to 1,000 pounds and sell at $55 a pound, suggests that millions of dollars can be derived. Our own local industry, what about it? Again, we look to our chairman for direction. For it was him who, while in pursuit of our membership in ICAT, led a delegation which included local business person to Nova Scotia, Canada, to meet the minister responsible for fishing along with Canadian business executives to explore the potential of all local industry in pelagic fishing. Subsequent to that meeting, upon the invitation of our chairman as Minister for Natural Resources and Labor, the Canadian minister visited the Virgin Islands and a memorandum of understanding was signed. Progressives United can assure you, the people of these Virgin Islands, that this initiative, which was a good initiative, will be vigorously pursued. Virgin Islanders has a strong fishing heritage and we intend to build on it. Sports fishing seems natural, but it is yet to take off in the British Virgin Islands and pay dividends as it, is, as it does in the United States Virgin Islands. Even though it is an open secret that, they're, they're, that they carry out their activities in our waters. Sports fishing is another potential industry where government will be proactive in pursuing its viability. Women. For decades, women have been leading their families very successfully and never have their competence to do so questioned. However, while cases of women holding positions of power and influence in the territory, such as deputy premier, deputy governor, or even CEOs and managing partners of trust companies and major law firms. Sexism still surfaces through prejudices and stereotyping in the most subtle and sophisticated of ways. Progressives United will level the playing field by legislating the removal of all physical barriers and at the same time, advocate for the elimination of all form of sexual harassment and psychological discrimination behavior, discriminatory behavior in the workplace. Domestic violence is ugly and has no place in our society. We will make a special court within the system to deal with domestic abuse swiftly and improve legislation to make sure Behaviors, such behaviors are very unattractive. Progressives United will establish a fast track to government contracts for women-owned businesses. And in addition, we will set aside a certain percentage of government contract work for women. This will in no way limit their ability to compete for a greater share of work. 
We believe that positioning the Virgin Islands for the 21st century must be a Virgin Islands with women at the forefront. Yes. Land. Considering the historical and emotional significance land has to Virgin Islanders, enough hasn't been done since the early 70s to protect that sacred bond. Many Virgin Islanders are in jeopardy of losing their very inheritance if something isn't done to protect them. Many of our estates are held in common through inheritance. And because of a lack of proper structure, both private and public, the estates have never been subdivided and di distributed and are now in the hands of successive generations, which complicates matters significantly. As a result, some estates are almost ownerless. And worse yet, shysters are moving to acquire these lands through prescription. Progressives United will address these two crucial matters by first introducing legislation which prohibits the acquisition of land by prescription. The next and most important will be a project similar to the initiative taken in the early 70s when the Glacial Surveyors were commissioned. Government in partnership with the stakeholders will undertake to have these estates subdivided and, and distributed. The program of old, where government assisted first-time homeowners to own land, was a good and will continue. We will continue to seek estates like the Nibs and Spooners for resale to young people at below market price. Crime and law enforcement. Persons in our community who have been victims are not someone who has been victimized through law enforcement abuse. I understandably oppose to police officers being well equipped. Their argument that their well-being will be more threatened is legitimate. However, that is assuming that an abuse of power by the police is tolerated. Abuse by police officers must be ab abusive police officers must be disciplined and are removed from the force if necessary. Only the finest should be allowed to serve. The responsibility of police officers is to keep the peace. And if they are not comfortable doing it, they will not do it. It is insane to expect police officers to put their lives in danger while knowing they don't stand a fighting chance. Progressives United will immediately and unconditionally move to have police policies in place that will see our officers properly equipped to patrol our streets and neighborhoods all hours of the day and night. Crime is a function of risk. The greater the risk, the lesser the crime. If, the, if risk is defined as the intentional interaction with uncertainty, it therefore stands to reason that if you eliminate the uncertainty, you increase the risk. Progressives United believes that mitigating against certain crimes is as much a legislative responsibility as it is a law enforcement or judiciary function, and that legislators must do their part instead of hiding behind the judiciary. So, for this reason, we will pass legislation with mandatory sentences for certain crimes the same way as is the case currently with maximum sentences. This then speaks to the increase of risk in relation to crime. Legislative reform. If the goal is for the legislature to be competent, bipartisan, and efficient, and the Virgin Islands legislature is neither, Progressives United clearly see reform in our crosshairs. How do we see incompetence? We see it being derived from a bias brought on by a lack of independence. There is no point expecting independence where the five members of the executive dominates the legislature. 
Since the Constitution prohibits any manipulation of, or of the proportion of the legislature, we are humbly suggesting that a look be given to another system. Progressives United is proposing that in order for independence to be obtained in the BVI legislature, especially in the making of laws, a bicameral parliament be established. What this does is give responsibility to another body to provide an independent perspective on matters. It also brings the richness that comes with diversity and, gives, and given us being an increasingly pluralistic society, it seems like the right thing to do. This group will be referred to as a Senate with members elected to office, which means they will have legislative powers and actually have constituents to, re to represent. Infrastructure. The nightmare of poor design and shoddy construction services each time there is heavy rain or disaster. Either through ignorance or carelessness or both, we continue to avoid seeking sound advice before, before undertaking our infrastructural projects. Roads and drains. To build a road without drainage is a road that is bound to fail. We have too many cases of those. A road that's built with inadequate drainage will also fail. We also have those. If the structural integrity of the road is compromised, failure is also certain, and we have that too. We must resort to proper standards to rebuild our roads. We must engage the services of tried and tested professionals rather than relying on persons fresh from between the covers of a textbook. Progressives United will equip our public works department to joint venture with a firm with infrastructure experience to rebuild our roads to international standards. In the process, a transfer of skills will materialize for the long-term good of the territory. Electricity. The same principle with regards to standards and joint venture must follow when it comes to our utilities. The transmission of electricity co costs less on poles, except when there is bad weather, which is something we are prone to. Therefore, common sense would tell us that our cables must be buried. Progressives United will make this a national security item with high priority. Water and sewage, water supply. We are relatively sure that the water production capacity throughout the territory is inadequate, but not crisis. We also know that the distribution is badly broken and that the amateurish fixes frantically being executed constantly makes for a failed system. Progressives United understands that the water and sewage department has been taken from, for granted and out of the loop for so long that the problems are beyond them, even without mentioning sewage. To that end, we will move expeditiously to transform the department into a statutory body with a mandate to get the house in order within 24 months. In the interim, however, we will see to the adequacy of water supply to the areas chronically plagued with lack of supply such as Bruce Bay, Cane Garden Bay, and the Hannah Hill Reservoir. Yeah. Telecom and the internet. Sad but true. Anytime this subject comes up, the first thing comes to mind is third world. This is, an, this is an area that has been plaguing the territory for over a decade, and there seems to be no haste in getting it fixed. We cannot be a tourist destination and a center for financial services and continue to have the type of internet service that is woefully unreliable and at best unacceptably slow. The Telecommunications Regulatory Commission has work to do and Progressive United would order them to do it without delay. Transportation. 
The issue of air and sea passenger transportation, which together has been dubbed a double dilemma for the territory, were, added, were, were addressed earlier in the segment under the economy. Ocean freight. Freight transportation to the territory has been the Achilles of merchants in terms of cost when compared to our United States Virgin Islands neighbors from inception and does not seem to be going away. Progressives United is in full agreement that the high cost of shipping is counter to the competitive advantage local businesses need to deal with the forces of e-commerce and even with St. Thomas. We believe that government should do more to keep our locally earned dollars from leaving the territory. And one way to do that is to make our locally sold goods competitive. Progressives United will supplement the cost of shipping as long as we can determine that the desired result is attained. Land passengers. The massive influx of cruise ship tourists necessitates a constant flow of traffic in some of the most treacherous places in huge safari buses. Because of the road condition, it is in our interest to be concerned. These issues will be resolved as soon as our roads are fixed. The issues of roads were addressed in the infrastructure section. Immigration. Streamlining of services has long been the way to go. Not only is it more economical, it keeps the information in one place and makes for greater efficiency. Why to this day in the BVI there is a customs and there's an immigration is beyond comprehension and begs for reform. With the security issues around the world, we can ill afford the time necessary to interact between departments for fear of miscommunication and politics getting in the way of some decision making. Better synchronization between our labor and immigration policies are needed than what seems to be just a gentleman's agreement between the heads of department. Progressives United will seek to have a well-equipped single agency responsible for our border protection that shall comprise customs and immigration with very clear links with labor. The elderly. Every generation believes it's fair game to dump on the generation before them. And if you are not in a position to push back, you fall victim. We see this happening to those we call elderly. And we must use our influence to stop it. All elders are finding themselves in isolation and are afraid of lonesomeness. Our government recognized over 40 years ago that elders had reached the point where they needed a place to sp spend the day rather than end up alone at home. This reality was addressed by opening centers around the territory accessible to everyone to enter a program for the elderly. Over time, and with the passage of Hurricane Irma, the program is virtually closed. I'm sure that a careless government can find excuses to keep it that way in order to use the monies for other things. Progressives United wish to go on record and say that that program will be reinstated to its glory days regardless of cost. Health care for the elderly will be free of cost once registered in the program. A special program will be set up where they will enroll and be monitored regularly. Once legislation is, in, is introduced for the care of the elderly, nothing will be left to the discretion of public officers. Government already assists transportation for school children. Why not do the same for the elderly? Progressives United will put in place a system of transportation for the elderly to get to essential places. An elders hotline will be established where issues can be referred for resolution within 24 hours. Elders who do not have relatives or who elect to handle their own affairs will be provided with legal services to straighten their affairs. Legal assistance is given to indicted offenders 
why not our elders? The senior citizen home. There have been arguments made for and against every location thrown out for the establishment of a replacement for Dina Donovan home. The only thing everyone seems to agree on is that the replacement is necessary. We agree also. Progressives United will see to the replacement taking place as rapid as possible and as feasible as is practical. Our first option will be to utilize the old building that was once People's Hospital. We believe that with the proper architectural alterations, it would be ideal. Youth activities. Progressive United will first and foremost acknowledge our youth are the future of the country. And no matter what, it is our responsibility to ensure their development by shaping them to be what the territory needs. No price can be placed on their importance. If we truly believe this, then it cannot be left up to the individual to decide their own future. By allowing each individual to determine his or her future, they may not have the future in the BVI in mind. Therefore, someone will have to come to take on this role. But it is with that in mind, we want, the question is, is that what we want? Progressives United will develop cadres for every sector and ensure that they are placed in their respective areas of, of training. These are places where the Labor Department training and placement comes into play. The various cadres will be expected at some point to lead their particular sector until replaced by the next generation of cadres. We see this as empowering our youth. The importance of our youth is so great that Progressives United will take advantage of the newest constitutional amendment to have a junior minister for youth affairs appointed. Such an initiative will be profound that our youth will finally have the voice they deserve. Progressives United believes that a, a part of preparing our youth for the future will be through exposure. We want to lead the way. We will have our premier and even his ministers select a young person to accompany them on select trips where they feel maximum benefits can be derived. What better preparation can one get than to see how the world operates firsthand? This we also believe will give young people a better appreciation for the work governments do and also the urgency of their preparation. Let me close on what might be the most interesting topic of all, culture. Culture defined reads the characteristic and knowledge of a particular group of people encompassing language, religion, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. The Center for Advanced Research and language acquisition, in taking this a step further, defined culture as shared patterns of behavior and interactions, cognitive constructs, and understanding that are learned by socialization. Thus, it can be seen as a growth of a group identity fostered by social patterns unique to the group. Following these constructs, Progressive United thinks it wise to dare not venture into what is or what isn't Virgin Islands culture, but to instead ask the question whether culture is static or evolutionary. A further question then comes, who gets to answer this question? Progressives United recognizes the sensitivity of what what's involved here, and therefore refrains from being so presumptuous as to attempt any definition whatsoever on any aspect of Virgin Islands culture. 
but will, however, commission a panel of experts to advise on the establishment of the process, keeping in mind the definition speaks to culture being seen as the growth of a group identity fostered by social patterns unique to that group. And this brings us to another question. What is or who is this group? Progressive United certainly appreciates the complexity of this topic brought on by its sensitivity. And we pledge to support its promotion and integral and promote it, its promotion as an integral part of our strategy for rebuilding this territory. I sincerely thank each and every one of you for being here this evening. Please stay tuned for the announcement of more candidates. Thank you.